That goddamn COVID had one foot locked up for two years, dude. We used to be looking out our window like, God damn, dude. I can't even go out there. What the fuck are you doing out here? That one was out here just breathing, ain't got no mask on, nigga, just raw dog in there, dude. <laughs> Take that breath, bitch. Oh. That damn coat was muffled. Yeah, that's like that a mask. That shit was a little suspicious, though, didn't it? Because it would cover up certain things. And people could fool you because, see, people have nice features. You look, you be like, oh, shit, she got light eyes, man. She pull that mask down. She got dark teeth, though. Her teeth dark teeth. What that mask made out of? Crystal meth? What the fuck? You ain't got a molar or a bicuspid or nothing over here. This whole side, though. And that shit was a wild shit, because, you know, it took out a lot of people. But now, when it's over, you don't it seem like they was doing some bullshit, though? Because they got them rules that you don't understand that don't make no goddamn sense. Like, when you go in a restaurant, you got to wear your mask. But when you sit down at the table, you can take it off. Like COVID, that damn culture. You like come up to your table like, oh my man, I see you with your family. I will get on your ass, but uh, you got the salmon, you got the salmon, okay. Hey, listen, if you go to the bathroom, though, my nigga, I'm gonna be on your ass, that's what I do. You ain't know how you got it. And you might know how you got that shit. You gotta sneeze, you gotta watch your hands, you gotta stay six feet away from people, you gotta wear gloves. I ain't know how you got cold. That shit was scary as hell. Man. The scariest way I saw somebody get it was my dog. 30 years, <laughs> DL Hughes been my partner 30 years. This motherfucker got COVID on Instagram. <laughs> I ain't know you get that shit on Instagram. That boy was on Instagram telling the joke, sitting on the stool. He was doing a joke and all of a sudden you saw it when it happened. I was like, oh shit, he just got it. <laughs> that motherfucker would tell the joke, he just slid off that motherfucking stool. I was like, get him! That boy slid off that stool like that dude that came out the back of the car talking about where the mother reside. Where the mother reside. I was like, dang. He got my dog and he got it back when. You had to quarantine for real. You had to be locked up 14 days. You couldn't go nowhere. So my wife was like, hey, babe, we got to take them food every night because they can't go nowhere. And that's when I realized I wasn't as Christian as I thought I was. <laughs> I was like, we got to do it? She was like, yeah, I didn't know how you got that shit. I just saw the boy get it on Instagram. I ain't going to go house. I'm walking up giving this boy food like a goddamn Uber Eats. I'm making sure he ain't no admit the door. I'm like, DA! You ain't about to know all of I got your food. And I put that piece of food down and ran off like I had been some firecrackers. You get it? The thing is, I did some shit early too. Like, I went and got the shot too damn early. I got the shot when black people weren't getting the shot. Everybody looked at me like, what the fuck you doing, sir? But my brother was still working. People was out on the road. Florida, Texas, they was wide open. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna this with that money. I'm not. So I got the shot. So back then, you know, it was rules to it. You had to be like, you either had to be 65 or you had to be a central worker. That was the only way you could get a shot back then. And you know, I wasn't even one of them. So I needed a hookup, you know. You know, black people, we very resourceful when we need shit. So I do this nurse, she was a hood nurse in the hood in LA, in the, in the Crenshaw area, in the hood, hood. And she was like, said, you know you ain't gonna be getting this shot. But if you come on the line, So that's it, all right? Now, for the white people in here, that was a full conversation I just had. Every black person in here literally understood everything I just said. This is how we talk about y'all at work in front of y'all. This one was wild, man. I'm like, what 